Hi, I'm Crystal, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the new AI-enabled iTrax Analysis Assistant for iTrax Real-Time. This is a new tool that we are really excited about. It is still in its beta version, so we are still making some improvements to usability, to intuitiveness, as well as adding new features. So keep that in mind as we go through the walkthrough, but it is a really, really cool new exciting tool, and we have made it with the intent of getting you, the researcher, uh, an assistant to say you some time in the analysis stage of your project. So please let us know what you think, play around, have fun using it. This tool is free for all iTrax annual subscribers at this point. So if you are an, uh, an iTrax real-time annual subscriber and you want this tool enabled within your account, please let us know and we will get that set up for you. With that in mind, I'm going to share my screen with you and we will get started through the walkthrough. Okay, so here we are on the iTrax homepage. And to get started, I'm going to find the project that I want to analyze. So this is pretty important. This uh, analysis assistant works at a project level, meaning if you have a project with multiple IDIs and focus groups within them, you can perform the analysis across any and all of those activities within that project. So it's really important when you choose what you want to enter into the analysis with that you do choose a project. So I uh, have created a project for this analysis demonstration. It's called Travel Focus Groups. And within that project, I have four IDIs that I conducted where I asked participants about their favorite vacation they've ever had. And then we did a follow-up focus group with all four participants in there as well. So here you can see all of the activities. And to get all of my activities into the analysis assistant tool, first I have to go to project recordings. So um, click on project recordings under analysis and then search for your group recordings. Now this process that I'm doing here is just to make sure that all of the data is in the analysis assistant when I go to use it. Uh, like I said before, this tool is in its beta version. So uh, we are working on eliminating some of these steps, making it a little easier to go straight from completing your group into that analysis stage. But for now, this is how you're gonna do it. So you can see I've searched over in the left here in my media browser for group recordings. So now it is only showing my group recordings. That's recordings for each activity where it shows all of the moderator and participants uh, in each group. And these are the recordings that we need to perform the analysis on or to run through um, the video index in order to get them ready. So what you're going to do is click on each video recording and then go over here and click on analyze this video. Uh, if you don't see this button or it's grayed out or something like that, it just means that this feature hasn't been enabled for your account. Again, this feature is free for all annual subscribers right now. So if you need to get it enabled, just contact us and we will get that set up in your account for you. Um, so just contact the help desk or your sales rep or really anybody at iTracks and we can get that set up for you. So again, I've clicked on my group recording of this first activity and I have clicked analyze this video and I actually pre-ran all of these through the indexer um, just to save time on this. So mine are all going to come up like this. Yours might look a little different at first. So it might say like, oh, this is going to take a few minutes. Um, you can safely close this window. So you can go ahead and do that and just wait for them all to get ran through that analyzer. And you're going to do this uh, for all of your group recordings within the project. Again, though, I've already done this for them all, so I won't bother going through them all right now. After you have run all of the videos um, through that analyze this video button and it has finished, what you're going to do is go up to these top three dots here by the file information item and you're going to click save AI insights. And again, you're going to do that for all the activities. Again, I know this is a little bit cumbersome. We're working on eliminating this step, uh, but for the beta version, this is how you're going to get them all run through um, the analysis assistant. So click save AI insights. That's going to push them through and allow you to see all that data when we get over to the analysis assistant. So uh, we'll pretend that I've done that for all these because I did them previously. And we will then go to Project Insights. And Project Insights is where you are going to find that analysis assistant. Uh, so I've opened it up in a new tab here because I might want to come back here later. 
And this here uh, is your analysis assistant. And all of these items here will contain any findings or highlight reels that you've created. So I'm going to create a new one uh, for purposes of this demonstration. We'll call it like crystals demo analysis. And you see, I have some options here. Um, for who can see insights, we have three options. Every everyone, moderators, or only me. And same with who can edit insights and who can download insights. Uh, only me obviously means only you. Moderators means moderators and project managers, basically moderators plus. And everyone means everyone that you have set within your project to be able to access reporting. Um, so at the project level, when you initially set up your project, there's a little item uh, that you can select that says observers have access to reporting. And you can either let the observers have access to reporting or you cannot let them. So when you select everyone, it's going to be everyone that has access um, via that setting. So if you click everyone and your reporter still can't see uh, what you've created in the analysis assistant, chances are it's at that project level that you have to allow them. Now, I personally, when I do this, I always pick everyone for this button um, when I'm creating this like kind of analysis folder, because I can still pick who can see and edit what within each little finding or highlight reel that I create. So I always pick everyone for this just because I can, you know, get more modular about who I, um, let's see what, but you can pick whatever you want, click add. And now we have our essentially folder that we're going to go into uh, to create our findings and our highlight reels. So there are two main capabilities right now of the analysis assistant. You can create new findings, uh, which are going to be data visualization. So um, the AI identifies keywords, it identifies emotions, uh, and it identifies topics uh, from the natural language processing through, so through what was actually said during your groups or interviews. And then you can go in and you can create visualizations like pie charts or bar graphs of that data. The other thing is a highlight reel, which is really neat. Uh, and we'll go into that second. But first we're gonna create a new finding. And again, we have some options pop up. So we can call it whatever we want. Um, we'll call this pie chart topics because that's what we're gonna make. We can pick right now a pie chart or a bar chart. We are working on more options for visualization. So um, things like word clouds, line graphs, if you have any ideas for visualizations you would like to see here, please reach out and let us know. Uh, we can select our colors. We'll come back to that. Here we have the activity sources. So we can either include all activities within the project or we can manually choose them. And remember this project I'm in now has four IDIs and then a follow-up group. For this visualization, I just want the IDIs. I don't want the group mixed up in here. So I'm gonna go and individually pick all those IDI activities that I have in there. And you can pick more than one. And if they're gray, it means they've been selected and you can see them up here. Uh, for the AI index, we can choose from keywords, emotions, or topics. Keywords are like verbatim words that the AI has noticed have been said a lot within your project. Um, so you can pick them manually or it can just like pick the top ones for you. Uh, and you can see in here which words it's identified and how many times they were said. You can pick emotions that are, again, uh, identified by what was actually said in the group. Um, so this one, it's going to say 55 joy, 11 sad, 4 anger. So it was um, a relatively joyful group based on what the AI has identified. And we can do topics. So that's what we're going to use for this pie chart. And these are broader topics that the AI has identified as being discussed during your interviews or your groups. Um, so again, you can select the top three or you can select manually. And here I can go and I can see which ones it allows me to choose from. So looks like we spent a lot of time talking about tourism, international travel hacks. I'm not too concerned about the cities or the things in France because that was only one um, participant I know from moderating the group. Uh, and then we'll talk about animals that was mentioned in a couple. So we've got three topics here that we're going to cover in our pie chart. 
who can see the finding uh, here again, we can choose from everyone, moderators or only me. And you can always change this down the road. So I'll often pick only me like while I'm working on it, just because it's in draft mode and I don't want anybody stumbling upon it. Um, but then once it's complete and I'm happy with it, I'll move it either to everyone or moderators, depending on who I want to see the finding. Uh, and then back up to colors, we can either do it automatically um, or we can select manually if we have specific colors we want. And then when you pick the colors, you can either pick from these main colors here. So if we want like purple and blue, or if you have specific brand colors that you want to use um, that are specific to your practice, or maybe like the client that you're working with, they have brand colors, you can go in and get really specific. So maybe I want that like um, traditional iTracks real-time orange that you see everywhere all over the iTracks platform. Uh, that's the hex code for it there. I'll click apply and then we have that orange in there. And then once you're done, you hit save and render. And you'll see it show up in the list within your folder here. So I can click on that now. And now I have my pie chart. Uh, you can choose either from number of occurrences. So that's how many times a specific word was said, or you can pick from total time discussed. Um, in which it tells you like how many minutes and seconds were spent actually discussing this topic at hand. And if you don't like what you see, you want to change something, you can always go back and edit it. So let's say I'm not like a super big fan of the colors that I chose. I'm going to go in and get rid of this blue uh, and choose a cheery yellow instead. I can save it and render it again looks good and when you're happy with it you can go ahead and download it and then once you download it you can put this into your reports you can share it with people it's just going to download as an image file uh, so that is how you use the findings or visualizations within the new itrax analysis assistant the second big capability that we have within this tool is creating highlight reels um, so for this one, let's just give it a name. Again, you can go back and change this. Uh, we'll let everyone see it. And then when you're happy with these settings, you save and open the highlight reel editor. Or you can go to this button down here. It does exactly the same thing. So we'll click that. And now we are within our highlight reel editor. And you'll see we don't have any segments uh, within our highlight reel yet, which is to be expected because we have not yet created any. To insert segments, I'm gonna go up to the top left here and I'm going to click insert segment. And here I have a whole bunch of clips that the AI has pre-identified for me as perhaps being of interest. Uh, and you can go through and you can choose which sort of clips you're seeing. So you'll see some familiar ways to filter this. Again, we have keywords, emotions, topics. We'll stick with keywords for this one. Uh, we have, we'll skip this one for now. We'll go to sources. Um, so again, you can choose from all of the activities, some of the activities, one of the activities uh, within your project. We'll just leave it with all of them for now. Uh, and then you can choose how to sort them. So is it by the AI index, like the keyword, um, start time, so things that came earliest in the interviewer group, or end time. And we'll leave it how it is right now. Uh, and then for searching for the indexes, I'm going to use keywords this time. And I'm going to try and make a highlight reel where I show all of the participants uh, talking about their favorite part of their vacation. So as the moderator, I remember that in each interview, part of my discussion guide was to ask, what was your favorite part of this vacation that we're talking about? So I'm gonna search for favorite part, there it is. The AI has identified it as being something um, that was mentioned quite a bit. So I have it for an option and a keyword. And I will just click on favorite part and now it has pre-identified a bunch of clips um, where people are talking about their favorite part. So it'll tell me what activity it's in. It'll tell me the start time and end time and then the AI index. So that's sort of what is this clip about or how did we uh, come up with this clip? Uh, so I can pick which clips I want included. For now, I'm just gonna put them all in there and then I'll sort them out once I'm actually in the highlight reel um, creator. So I'll click to highlight them all, but you can, you know, 
pick specific ones. Uh, and then I'll go insert selected. And then you can kind of see in the back there, something just showed up. That's all my clips. So I'm going to get rid of this window and I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to try to edit them. Uh, so again, you have a few things to look at here. We've got our source. So it tells us which activity it came from. I've got a couple different IDIs within this highlight reel. Uh, we'll come back to this field here. You've got your start and end timestamps, and these are completely editable, which is important. We'll uh, look at how to sort of play with that later. And then this is your AI index. So this is, again, um, what it was using to find or identify this clip and sort of pre-cut it for you. Over here, you've got a play button, uh, or you can just completely get rid um, of the clips if you decide that they are not useful. So we can click play to preview them. I'm going to get rid of this so they don't all play one after another. What was your favorite part of this trip? So we can see that clip was just me, the moderator, asking about a favorite part. Maybe I don't want that in there. Um, it's not as relevant. It's not really a highlight. I will just get rid of it. Now let's look at the next clip. My favorite part, I guess, um, just walking down the city, I guess. So that's the part that I want in this highlight reel. We've got Juana talking about what her favorite part of her vacation was. But maybe I don't need to see my moderator face in this highlight reel. Uh, maybe I just want to see Juana because that's the important part of this clip. I can actually go and I can choose, instead of group recording, to pick participant one's recording. And then that's gonna change it so that I don't see the moderator, I don't see that group recording. All I see is this participant who's actually talking. So we'll go like that. My favorite part, I guess, um, just walking down the street. So you can see it's that same clip, but now instead of having the moderator and the participant in there, we just have a nice close-up view of the participant to put in our highlight reel. Uh, so you can do that with as many clips as you want. You can drag these around, put them in different orders, and make everything um, just how you want it. And then when you're ready, you click Save and Render, and it will create a, uh, a downloadable file for you that you can then um, share however you want uh, or further edit uh, however you want in whatever tools that it is that you're using. Now, the last thing I want to show you about this highlight reel um, is kind of a bit of a, a tip or a workaround. So this is AI enabled, and what the AI does is it identifies clips that it thinks you're going to find interesting based on whatever you've used to search or to index it. So again, remember, we search for um, the favorite part keyword in here. You could search for emotions. You could search for topics, whatever. Um, but let's say that I want to insert a clip that the AI hasn't identified for me. So it hasn't associated it with any keyword or suggested it to me. That's okay. I can insert like completely... Um, you know, arbitrary clips using one of these as a starting point just by changing the start and end times. So to do that or to illustrate that, let's go back to my project recordings. And I've got this recording of Rachel here. And I remember that Rachel had a really interesting story about an eagle in her interview. And I want to include that. But when I go into my... um highlight reel creator here, oops, it doesn't actually identify that for me. So I can kind of show you right here. That if I go to insert a new segment, Eagle is not showing up. So that's a bummer, but totally uh, fixable because we can go into here we can, again, click Analyze This Video, make it bigger so it's a little bit easier to use. And then I'm going to go into the timeline. So the timeline is your automatically created transcript. And uh, you can search within it. I'm going to search for eagle. And sure enough, within Rachel's video, we have a mention of an eagle here where she starts telling her eagle story. Uh, and there I can see the timestamp. It starts at 522. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of those clips that's already in here. I'm going to make sure it's within Rachel's activity, and I'm going to adjust the timestamps 
so that they are starting right when that transcript or that timeline will be that Rachel's uh, Eagle story starts. And then again, let's look just at Rachel and let's see if we have successfully captured her Eagle story within our highlight reel. Anyway, I'm finally in the very distant, like you can barely see it. There was a tiny little bald eagle, like <laughs> super far away. And we were all laughing because we, where we lived in Calgary, there was an eagle like that lived across the street, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> So there we have uh, Rachel's Eagle story. So if you do want a custom clip, again, you can totally do that. Just ignore this part over here and then adjust the timestamps uh, based on what you want. And if you don't know the timestamp, go over here to this analysis tool and within the timeline and you can find them there. So uh, that is the highlight reel in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to save and close this so that I can come back to it later. Um, but those are the main capabilities within your new uh, AI enabled iTrax analysis assistant. So again, we are taking feedback on this. We are still working on it. Um, if you start using this and you think of a feature that you really wish was in here um, or kind of a pain point that you identify, please, please tell us. Uh, you can email help at itracks.com. You can go in our live chat on our website. You can talk to the help desk uh, through the software here. Um, just any way that you can communicate with us. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, and we look forward to having you use the new iTrax analysis assistant. Thank you.